Good morning. Oh, hey, good morning. Hi. We were gonna stop and get coffee, and then I'm getting my hair done. Super long. You can't tell. Super long. I can't. You can't tell. Oh, no. Short and I might go blonder. It's gonna be really exciting. It's gonna be blonde again. Blonde again? Yeah. Ooh. All right, I did it. I'm blonder. What do you think? Think it looks good? Ooh. I know, I can't believe I did it either. But it looks so cool. Wow. It's blonder, the bangs are a little shorter. So look how excited. old you look now. What? Excuse me? Do I look old? Do I look old? Does no, it make no. me look old? I think you just being me. Okay. This is what we have to tackle. Good job. All right, I'm done. First spot. Now you're done. I'm done. First spot down. I think we can do it though. We did it. Yeah. Only half a second later. But uh, we missed one. Look at this. These two are done. It filled it because we took a lot of the soil with it. Yeah. Right. We didn't want to get any any seedlings that were coming, getting ready. So. Yeah. We just wanted to make sure all the soil. We're gonna amend it and add some maybe compost. Compost some azomite, azomite. more soil. Maybe Raise some. it up. Some coconut husks if we can. Look at our anniversary present to each other. Ooh, dirty little. Oh no, that's that's not the present. It's these guys. Isn't that exciting? His and hers composters. <laughs> oh. Got you a flower. Thanks, babe. Yeah. I don't... Happy anniversary. That's that's not the present. No, that's not it. But thank you. You know, it's a thought. It's not really a flower. It's a weed, but you won't tell. Now this is our next project. It's, it's impossible to keep up with the, oh, there's more of them. Do you see those? I'm over it, They're everywhere. It's dandelions, over it. I like to get them before they go to the seed so that maybe next year there won't be as many of them, but who really knows? What are we doing? Um, making spuds. For dinner? Yeah. Okay. You washing them? I'm scrubbing them. Scrubbing them real good. Oh yeah, he's awesome. Tweet, tweet. We like tweet, tweet. him. <laughs> Ollie is never too far. Hi. When we're cooking in the kitchen, I'm over here and I'm gonna make, I don't know what to call it. I actually saw it on Ellie and Jared's channel, or Ellie, I guess just Ellie's channel. It's really good and it happened to be vegan, so I was super excited, of course. Um, what would you call it? It's like a, I think they called it a dip, but we're gonna put it on top it's of a the... a black bean salad. Yeah, but they, you can dip chips into it. Should we put mango in it this time? Yeah. I think mango would be good in it. I don't know, I just think it's a black bean salad. I mean, you, you can dip into it if you want, but it's mostly just a black bean salad. Yeah, Alex quinoa. Um, I'll kind of show you as I'm going, but we're putting black beans, corn, I'm gonna do peppers, cilantro, Take you on a tour of the kitchen. We might add some mangoes because we need to eat those. I'm excited. And Matt is still washing. I like clean spuds and I cannot lie. I'm just obsessed with that brush. It's my favorite. She never uses it though. She always makes me scrub the potatoes. Yeah, well, you like it. Interesting. I don't know what he's talking about. All right, so are we are going to cut the peppers. Cut the peppers. Cut the peppers. Cut the peppers. Take all the seeds out. And then. And of course, you have to taste them to make sure they're good. This exciting? I have no idea if this is exciting or not. Then you add cilantro to taste. Mm -hmm. 
Is that the best way to do it? Mango. Hmm? I decided to try and upgrade to an actual camera stand. Yeah, you know my toaster wasn't good enough. So the best way to get, once you have it cut off the seed, is to use a cup. And yes, my hands are all dirty. I just did a bunch of them. So you just do that. Snake it in there. And push it up. And it's off the skin. Have the mango. Cut. Wow. Yeah. Or if you want to be fancy with it, this is how a lot of people eat them. You probably see on like Instagram. It's just I'm not showing you. Dice it. Ooh. And then flip it. Ooh. Yeah. And it can you flip goes. it and then cup it? Uh yeah. <laughs> Probably can. You can either eat them right off the thing. It just makes it harder if you cut the skin. Sometimes you take the skin with you. But you know, I have to be more careful not to peel the skin off with it. But yeah. Now, it's already nice. It's kind of nice. Ooh, those are big dice. Yeah. Those are for ones. people that those love the mango. Camera man can try one. Oh. I can try mm. one. All right, so I think now it's a mango salad. So normally you use fresh lime juice, but this this will work. A little bit of salt. I like to use Himalayan pink salt. This is all to taste. I'm gonna start with a little bit because you can always add more. It's hard to take it out. Especially when you're adding it all on top of the mango. The grinder sucks. Oh, great. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> There's no way to get all of us in here? No. But all of us, I mean food in my face. <laughs> I don't think that's what people are here for. Uh, they better be. <laughs> Alright, so we added chili powder. Probably can't read because black. It's on a very dark surface. Garlic powder. Um, red onion is really good in this too, and I believe it was in Allie's original recipe. I think it might have been her sister Bonnie. Sorry. <laughs> don't, mi the wall. don't mind the guy behind the camera. <laughs> and cumin, but we're adding a lot more than they called for because there's no kids in this house yet. Oh, don't tell him. No, he's going to eat it all. I know. I'm going to help mix. You want to mix it and then eat yeah, all of it, right? See? Figures. Come on. Please. I'll help. Uh-uh. I'll help. <laughs> he loves helping. Yeah. Onion powder is very strong. We just started using it. I don't put as much in there as I would Make sure like to do powder, powder, not salt. Yeah, onion salt is, or garlic salt isn't our favorite. If you like it, more for you. Because we're not buying it. <laughs> oh, does it mm -hmm. need more seasoning? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Nope, I think that's all right, actually. That is very good. <laughs> Pretty much everything that we, uh, everything that we make, we make together. <laughs> yeah, it's more fun that way. Most meals we can't make without each other. So basically I just put the Yukon Gold Potatoes. I rinsed and washed them. Put a, I like to put a slit in them. Uh, put them in the microwave for, I don't know, somewhere between six to 12 minutes flipping occasionally. Uh, that way they don't take so long to cook in the oven. And then I'm just gonna season them up. I add in some peppers and some salt, and I'm a huge fan of pepper, so. A lot of pepper. Then you gotta add more later because pepper flavor doesn't last that long. Fresh flavor. But you gotta, gotta get it in there so it cooks in. I do like to put salt on these though. Helps draw up the moisture and get them all rich and yummy. 
Well, that and Himalayan pink salt has a lot of minerals that are good for you as well. I mean, you don't want to overdo it, of course. But. Right. And then, of course, typical garlic. And what I'll do is I'll I'll do this and I'll start baking them. And about halfway through, I'll flip them over and just add more seasonings to it. Just a light sprinkle of onion powder. You know, it kind of looks like a lot, but really it's not. So they don't get too dried out. I'll put some tin foil over them. So I'll put that in there half an hour, give or take. It might take a little bit longer, but we'll flip them half an hour and put them back in. Yay! So they're in there for about 25, 26 minutes. Got a little bit un impatient, but uh, you can tell by the smell that they're almost getting done and that the little slits that I put into them, see how they're opening up. So what I'm gonna do now is just flip them over, give them a little bit uh, more seasoning. Oh, look at that color. Look at that. Getting a little bit brown on there. Mm. They also smell delicious, as you said. They'll still get really good flavor, obviously, and we do it all the time without adding so much oil or without adding any oil. I'm gonna add just a little bit of this on there. It's called Horstischtischtier. Here, it's called Horstischtier sauce. But you gotta make sure it's <laughs> vegan. Yeah, that's why this is the vegan one. If you add this too early, though, it will burn to the pan. Not burn to the pan, but it'll stick. Ooh. But I do want some of it to stick a little bit because it gets really good flavor. And I'll probably put more on after it's done too. But a little goes a long way, so be careful with it. Probably won't need as long now. Uh, I'll probably only put it in for like 15 to 20 minutes. Just because it's, uh, they're getting pretty soft. Really, if you put them in the microwave a little bit longer, you won't have to put them in the oven as long. Something my grandma taught me. Plates. Yes. See, look at that. Huh. Perfect. When you pick them up, rub them around a little bit, get some of that extra yummy juices. Don't be afraid to make too many. What I do, especially with the Pyrex, if I make too many, is I take it, and I have a lid for this, or you can keep the tin foil, let it cool completely, put it back on the stove, or not back on the stove, let it cool completely here on the stove, and then uh, cover it back up, and you put it in the fridge, it lasts for a couple days, when you're ready, just take the whole thing back out so you don't waste any of those juices and stuff. Take the whole thing back out, throw it back in either the oven, microwave, if it fits. A lot of people don't have the ginormous microwave that we do. Um, and then rewarm it back up in there. That way you keep a lot of these juices, you don't have to put any more stuff in there. We might not have any left over though, because I think he's putting them all on his plate. <laughs> yeah. Okay, since we have toppings, I'm going to open them up. There and there. Mm. Yeah, delicious. So, a couple different op options. You can totally eat your potatoes like this. If you want, you can put some butter in there, some sour cream. Vegan, um, of course. Yeah, vegan sour cream. Um, more of the Worcestershire sauce. Remember, it goes pretty far, so just very carefully. Drip Drizzle some, all of it on there. <laughs> drip some on top. A little bit less for Catherine. Thank you. Okay. And then, since we're doing this bean and mango deliciousness. Now this is cold, not hot, so it'll help you uh, be able to eat a little bit faster. We did put this back in the fridge and then pour it, or just grabbed it back out. I'm not a king of presentation, so I apologize. Look at that. I'm sure someone out there can make it look better. Yeah. All about the taste for me. Best thing about being vegan is, yes, I eat all that. There you go. Garnish it with some cilantro. And... Yeah, we're not gonna do that. <laughs> <laughs> we're not that fancy. Puppy, you ready for your dinner? It's not as exciting, I'm sorry. Puppy dinner. Uh-uh. Yes, good boy. 
Go get it. Go get it. Good boy. Okay, now you get to eat. Time to eat. Sorry guys, but uh, time to eat. I lose my brain.